Okay, we're going to charge this unit. Now, this is a four fixed orifice device. Uh, this is a heat pump. Uh, we're in cooling. Pretty warm day. I'll give you some temperatures here after a bit. Uh, we have evacuated this system, put our Schraders back in. We got about seven pounds of pressure in there. Now we're going to start charging this thing. The first thing I'm going to do is charge liquid in the high side. Liquid can't go in the low side unless it's metered, but it can go in the high side. So I'm going to show you where we're at with the cylinder. Okay, it's an R22 machine. Uh, if this was 410A or any other blend, it would have to go in liquid no matter what. We can do gas or liquid. We will start out with liquid on this uh, machine because it's faster. And we're just going to dump it in. The pressure inside this cylinder is going to push it into the high side. We only have like, oh, I think we've got like 13 pounds of pressure in there now. We're going to let the high pressure in the cylinder push it in to the high side. Get as much as we can in here without going over the total amount. Now one of the things about charging these things, you never ever leave the job while it's charging. Uh, too many times I've left the job and I ended up overcharged. Uh, just wasn't paying enough attention, gone too long and so on. Anyway, stay at the machine throughout the entire charging time. Okay, again this is R22. So we have seven and a half pounds as a factory charge. We've got a 25 foot line set. That's probably going to be the right amount. We are going to check it with target superheat. Opening the high side valve. Listen close, you can hear it go in. I'm going to go back to the scale so that you can see how we're doing on the scale. Okay, you can see we've got a little over a pound so far. Now, these almost never put in the entire charge on liquid. It usually uh, equalizes out the pressures uh, before we uh, get it full, but you never know for sure. I've had them go over. Uh, this one doesn't look like it's uh, going to go over. It's taking quite a while to get anything in. So we'll just sit there and watch that. You might want to know we're up to uh, a little better than three pounds. This thing may not make more than about five pounds. Remember, we have seven and a half pounds in for the factory charge. It looks like we're going to settle out at about four pounds. It may get a little bit more in there. It doesn't seem like it's going to get a whole lot more in. So I'm going to go ahead and begin charging this thing through the low side with gas. So I'm going to uh, reverse this cylinder and I'm going to put the rest of it in with gas. We've got a little over half of what uh, this thing carries so I think uh, we'll do the rest of it with gas. Okay you can see we have the uh, cylinder turned upright and we're getting a little better than four pounds. I'm going to fire this machine off. Okay, now we have the machine running. We got a return air temperature of about 79. And if we look at the gauge set, we can see we have about 50 pounds low side. Super eats out of sight, which is that would be normal. 174 high side bouncing around a bit uh, okay our air moving into the condenser is running about 82 these are essentially in the same room so there's a little bit of temperature difference but not a whole lot I'm gonna start adding refrigerant from the low side okay we're adding refrigerant from the low side I can turn this valve wide open Listen close, you can hear the compressor load a little bit. Now the 
uh, low side gauge is not going to make any sense because it's reading somewhere between the refrigerant cylinder pressure and the suction and we'll have to shut it off every once in a while. What I'm going to be looking at closer is the scale. Okay, you can see we're up, uh, getting pretty close to five pounds and we need seven and a half. And what it's doing right now, it's evaporating refrigerant. Let me show you the cylinder again. This refrigerant cylinder is fairly full. It's boiling refrigerant, the liquid refrigerant that's in the bottom of this, is boiling it off, cooling off the cylinder, and the gas is moving into the system. Uh, it's a warm day, so I'm probably never going to cool this down enough to make too much difference. On cooler days, sometimes you can't hardly get it out, and you have to use uh, liquid to get it out. You'll have to meter it. And I'll be showing you how to meter that in uh, another video. Okay, here we're getting about five and a half pounds, so we're then two pounds of what the charge should be. Now these things, when they run, when you get close to the charge, like about a pound away from the charge, I'm going to stop this thing and let it settle down. And we'll see how close we get. Okay, while we're waiting for this thing to top up, I want to show you something. Okay, I'm going to zoom in on this. Now that's an aftermarket dryer. Now that's a 16 cubic inch dryer. Uh, it may not have had a 16 cubic inch dryer to start. It probably didn't. It may not have had any dryer at all. Uh, or it may have an 083. So the factory charge is probably going to be a little incorrect and maybe a little bit low, but we'll see as we get closer. Okay, that looks like we've got, got about seven pounds, eight ounces in it. Let's see what kind of uh, pressures and super eats and subcools we get. Okay. Here's pretty much our final numbers on this thing. We weighed in the exact amount, 7 pounds, 8 ounces. Even though it had an oversized dryer, it did not seem to make any difference. One of the reasons it may not have made a difference is that dryer is piped into the heat mode. So it's probably being bypassed uh, in the cool mode. It's the only thing I can think of. But here's our final numbers on it with a return air temperature of about 80 degrees we've got 78 PSIG suction which is about right it's maybe a little high but it is 80 degrees uh, we've got 201 202 on uh, head subcool 5.5 superheat 11.2 target superheat is 11.5 so by weighing this in we actually got this thing pretty close okay it looks like the temperature uh, difference across the coil is about 21 degrees so we're looking pretty good on this thing that's a weight in charge for uh, the heat pump